I was in a lot of trouble at the competition. I didn't have any palaces really, maybe five, but I needed way more than just five palaces. And so I remember, hey, I recorded some palaces online. And before the different events started, I would go through and play the video to see all the different locations in these palaces. And then I would memorize and it worked. Now, I don't think people really use video to record the different palaces. They probably just have a picture of some sort. But that wouldn't work because if I had a picture of all these online palaces, well, the first location is whatever picture is first. So any location I wanted could be first. That's it. Now for me, that doesn't work because I need a flow from one location to the next. Now when you have a picture, you don't get that flow. You just get like, okay, so we have that door. Then we jump to that dresser. And then we jump to the window back there. And so you just jump places. But for me, I need to have the feel of moving from one location to another, to another, and so on. That is what makes it so powerful because now it actually feels like you kind of walk through the palace instead of just like seeing snapshots of it. Now, it's so easy to do this, right? Just pull your phone out and record all the different locations. Walk through initially, find what places you wanna use as locations, and then go through with your phone, record it, even online. That's what I did. And so I think that's something that we miss out a lot on because we think pictures are good enough. But I could speak from experience from my competition. If I didn't have those videos of those palaces, I would have totally tanked and it would have been a rough, rough day. So just use the simple tool of recording your palaces. So hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.